his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Seems your mouth wants to be shut up forcefully. Get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. People, I swear. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pond. He told me that the crooked man's door, so wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Oh, yeah? Take a number. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. I found it in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. She had ah, seen. yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. And how would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think mm -hmm. I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh. He doesn't like being spied on. Hmm. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... Bickering. They're bickering about bureaucracy. Bickering. Bickering. At war. Don't they realize that? No. Do you need some help over there? Yeah. Thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. Come here, you little squid foot. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny that. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know, mm -hmm. if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend up king, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worse kept secret in Fable Town. Colin stays out of sight, for Mondays at least. Will you say the same? Oh, fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see mm -hmm. for me and me boy to stay. I'm not going to ask for any more than I need. I just want to stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest to watch. Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. No, it's not right. Burdening the weakest of us like this. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, that's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, Sheriff. 
I knew I could count on you to make me whole again. We get this sorted, and I'll be glamour to the nines, I will. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Sure. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not. For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Look, I'll take care of it later. I told him we'd work it out so he'd get out of our hair. We don't have time to worry about that right now. Bigby, what did I tell you? He's unglamored when this whole thing is over. I'll send him to the farm. No questions asked, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. If there's one thing I figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, the chains, the ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. He's probably still waking up a little. Hmm. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Hmm. What just... Happened. We pointed you in the wrong direction. We looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll quite rhyme. him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. The door, it moves. What'd I tell you? Wait a minute, I know that door. Central Park. Central Park. I don't know when it's going to move again, but I'm going to get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Mm. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high. I'll catch him and bring him back here. Alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. When the wolf runs! Wild, I think? I don't remember that song. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Be pissed. That's what he is. Fuck it. Get up in that door. Yeah. 
Oh no! It's a one-way door. That sucks. Is it the triangle head? That would be like the worst. Oh. Tim. What the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, Don't. by the way. For leaving off tiny. Tiny Tim. You think I'd have outgrown that centuries ago. I don't like it. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. But I get it. You're not here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know. They said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. All right, let's get this over with. Come on. That's all I want, Sheriff. We're talking about it. Look at in a church. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. Tim, how can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not... He's not as bad as you think. He doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just already too late? The door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? Well, that's pretty. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office, but he's there. We need you. But we need him, too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Hold on. Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you? Stop laughing. Tell me who the oh, fuck yeah? is back there. I ain't I, I don't exactly know. I, I just mind the door. Problem. Boss is you there. Don't worry. I knew that much. Around. I might train before him. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. I say he'd be more useful killed, skinned, and made into a rug for me to wipe my sins on. He's right. He was fine when Crane was smoothing things over, but this guy up, he leaves with a whole other barrel of crap that I don't want to deal with. Well, that's it. Bloody hell! This fucking guy! Talking shit about me. I was wondering when you'd turn up. I'm sorry, sir. He wouldn't let it's me. It's all right, Tim. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. But you did fine. You can go now. Not a job, it's control. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. In a leash, a chain, a what ribbon. Do you have a seat, Sheriff. We have a great deal to discuss. Mm. And that's where we're going to end this episode. And see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and maybe like, maybe? Probably? Nah, you can't.